was, should we not do a small study in 20-25 patients, no placebo, and hope there is improvement and then the parents, the, the families will tr try to, to help us get this drug approved on that basis. Now that effort would have taken us a year or one and a half years, all in all. And there was a very high likelihood that this would not succeed because the regulatory agency if, uh, agencies, if confronted with that limited evidence, if at all evidence of efficacy, should say, according to the rules, this is nothing we could approve. There is no objective evidence that this drug works. So we would have wasted one and a half years and money. We would have created hopes in those parents, which in the end would have been unjustified. And therefore we decided we don't want to create that loss of time, of money and wrong hopes. We want to prove according by the, the rules which we use in our industry and we don't want shortcuts. We want to show this is the one and the first treatment that really does the job. But then we want to be also confident to say now this drug should get approved. In all our development projects, be it the Parkinson drug, be it the red drug, and be it a schizophrenia drug that we are developing, we are adhering to the gold standards. No shortcuts, because we believe that is waste of money, resources all around. Uh, and therefore our Im input is um, don't try to go cheap and short.